Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about home brewing pumps. I'm going to compare three different ones to let you know what my experience has been with them, maybe trade-offs between the styles, and maybe help you if you're in the market to figure out what is really best suited for your needs. I'll be looking at this one here which is your standard March style pump. Chugger makes basically the same thing. Uh, it's a workhorse in the home brew industry for a long, long time. Next, after that, something quite a bit different. We'll be looking at this little 12 volt DC motor. Very interesting has some trade-offs with it. We'll talk about those in a minute. And then lastly, this one here, which is maybe a hybrid between the two. 120 volts, little smaller size, but I'm hopeful will really do the job that I need in a system roughly this size. So if you're interested in pumps, you want to learn a little bit more about some of the trade-offs, some of the price points, things like that, stick around. I'll cover each one individually, and I think it should be interesting, kind of fun. Stand by. Okay, so now I'm going to go over a little more detail on these three pumps. And then I also have one more I'm going to talk about that I stumbled across as I was doing a little research for this particular video. So let's start off with this one here. This is the March pump. And as I mentioned earlier, it is the workhorse in the home brewing industry for a long, long time. The pluses about this are very good reliability. I've had this one, boy, probably eight years. Flow rate is quite good. In fact, one might argue a little too much for a small setup. Some of the negatives are it's noisy when it runs. It's AC powered, as most of them are. It's expensive to buy. But at the end of the day, as I mentioned, it really is, has been the go-to pump. So let's put that one aside. I'm gonna talk about this next one that's totally different. This little guy is a DC powered pump. And what's really quite nice about that is the flow rate can be controlled by the level of the voltage. So it's a variable speed DC pump. Other nice things about it, super quiet, obviously very small, it's inexpensive. I think this was $20, $25, something like that. This is actually the exact pump that I use in my glycol chiller to pump the cold glycol through the fermenter. So a good operating temperature range for sure. And the reliability has been pretty good. I think I've had this one, I'll say four years. It finally crapped out, and that's why I started looking at pumps all over again. The other problem that this has is it's a little bit prone to clogging because it is so small. I use it to recirculate during the mash, and a couple uh, pieces of grain get sucked in there. It's enough to stop the impeller from spinning. So that's the trade-off. Super small, light, easy to use, but with that comes the issue of uh, jamming up. The other thing I liked about it is again, because of the small size, I can take it just like this, plug it right on to either the mash tun or the boil kettle, and uh, super easy to use. DC powered. I guess I will mention that obviously you need a way to power it. Um, you can buy simple 12 volt wall warts that you can plug in really cheap. That would do the job. I like using this power supply because again, I can adjust the voltage and it adjusts the flow rate. So I really don't need to have any kind of uh, ball valve or anything in line with this one. But he's dead now, so I needed to move on. So in my initial research, I thought, okay, 
I need to get something heavier duty than that. Didn't want something as big as a march pump. So I stumbled across this guy. I saw online that Northern Brewer has their own version of this. I think it's a private label of this exact pump. But um, I'm going to take this one and move the hardware from here, the cam locks, put them on this and see how it does. Uh, AC powered once again, which I was kind of hoping to stay away from, but I, I couldn't find anything. And so uh, we'll see what happens. The reviews say it's quiet, you know, a decent pump, pretty cheap as far as pumps go, about 50 bucks for this, $55. As I mentioned, that was 20, 25. The March pump, shoot, anywhere from 125 to 225, I'd say, depending on the configuration. Now, the final pump I wanna talk about that I don't have here, and I wish I would've found it before I bought this guy, is called the Steelhead 2.0. So just Google on that and you'll, you'll see the information on it. It's a DC pump, but it's a 24 volt pump. So it's a little heavier, a little bigger than this guy here, but it offers all the benefits. DC, so you don't have your AC extension cords laying around. It's gonna be really quiet, it's compact. One thing I don't know, is it variable speed? Can you adjust that 24 volt supply up and down to control your flow rate? If you could do that, I'd tell you that'd be a shoe in for me. But there you have it. You know, there's a lot of different pumps out there, a lot of different ways to go. Uh, if you're looking for a pump, need to upgrade or buy your first one, keep these things in mind. I hope it helps you. And as always, if any questions are coming to mind, feel free to drop me a note in the comments section, and I'll be more than happy to answer. Take care now, and good luck.